Greetings, and welcome to the 2021 Commencement Exercises for Atlanta Technical College. On behalf of our president, Dr. Victoria Seals, and the more than 5,000 students, faculty, and staff in the Atlanta Technical College community, we are excited to share this virtual ceremony with you. Please welcome Dr. Seals. Greetings, and thank you for joining us for Commencement 2021. The graduates that we recognize today symbolize that the college is moving forward in a new way, and facilitating their success is foundational in how we learn, work, and celebrate. Facing down everyday challenges compounded by our ever-changing world, the 2021 graduates are looking forward to careers on the front lines, in classrooms, boardrooms, hospitals, and on construction sites. They are the ones who literally make the world go round. They are your nurses and paramedics, dental hygienists and assistants, electricians, barbers, HVAC and automotive technicians, builders, teachers, accountants, IT experts, and truck drivers. Our theme for commencement this year is excellence, which is our focus in everything that we do. Excellence is timeless. It is not altered by circumstances or by global challenge. It is the standard to which we aspire, the overarching goal for which we strive. In the words of the ancient philosopher Confucius, the will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential, these are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. Each of the graduates we celebrate today is unlocking their potential to do great things, to be excellent. They represent the best of Atlanta Technical College. As we begin today's ceremony, I am pleased to recognize the support of our Board of Directors and our Board of Trustees. The local Board of Directors, chaired by Dr. Eloisa Clementich, provides guidance to ensure that the needs within the college's service area are met. Thank you, Dr. Seals. Commencement is always an exciting time in the life of Atlanta Technical College. I join my colleagues on the local board of directors in sharing a heartfelt congratulations to each of you, the graduates, our best wishes for success in your chosen careers. Today, we are celebrating 1,754 graduates who are receiving their technical certificates, diplomas, and associate's degrees. More than 500 of them are joining the front lines of healthcare. 570 are focusing on technology. And 400 are building and managing the infrastructure of the future of construction and the skills trades. Excellence is at the core of all that we do for our students, our amazing faculty and staff and the community at large. As a member of this board, I have experienced the college firsthand. The campus is a wonderful place for our students to explore the more than 150 programs of study and the students themselves represent excellence in academics, student activities, and in your careers. Thank you for joining us today and congratulations again to every student. You did it! But a special congratulations to the families that are here celebrating because you are making a difference in our students' lives. Chaired by Mr. Bill Pinto, the Foundation Board acquires external funding and resources to support the college and our students. Thank you, Dr. Seals. On behalf of the Foundation Board of Trustees, I congratulate our 2021 graduates. I have had the pleasure of serving as chair of both the Board of Trustees and the local Board of Directors. And over the years, I have enjoyed sharing this important occasion with more than 20,000 Atlanta Technical College graduates. Although I am usually on stage and shaking each graduate's hand, 
I am no less excited to share this virtual celebration with you today. This is a big day for our graduates, their friends, and their families. The legacy of the college is firmly imprinted in metropolitan Atlanta as one of excellence and positive transformation. The power of technical education is real, and it is illustrated by the success of each of our graduates that we are about to meet. Thank you for joining us today. Your support truly makes a difference. Thank you, Dr. Clementich and Mr. Pinto. Your leadership has profoundly impacted the college's progress and our students' success. Also want to recognize our program advisory board members, our many strong supporters and friends and family throughout the college community. Thank you all for your support. Throughout this celebration, you will meet the academic deans and faculty who are creative, committed professionals. They provide instruction and service to almost 4,000 students each semester and prepare them for the world of work. Their commitment to our students is unmatched and we can only do what we do because of them. Now each year, the faculty nominate their peers to compete in the Rick Perkins Instructor of the Year competition. The winner of this competition at the college level represents the college at both the regional and the state levels. Now this year's college winner is barbering instructor, Mr. Dan Brown. Mr. Brown represents our faculty with distinctive style and professionalism. Congratulations, Mr. Brown. To our graduates, the word graduation comes from a Latin word that means step. Each class, each experience has been another step on your professional journey. Therefore, today's graduation celebration is not the end of your journey, but rather another opportunity to begin. As you take these next steps, let me share some advice from Apple co-founder Steve Jobs. He said, we don't get a chance to do that many things, and everyone should be really excellent because this is our life. So graduates, this is your time, and now more than ever, we need your vision, your tenacity, your skills, and your knowledge to transform our immediate communities and our global world. You know, we do wonderful things at Atlanta Technical College, and it is our mission to serve the metropolitan Atlanta area with the support of our community to make those great things happen. Joining us today is someone who is known throughout the metro area, Mr. Fred Blankenship, who will deliver our keynote address later in the program. A Los Angeles native, Fred Blankenship joined the WSB TV family in 2007, and he anchors Channel 2 Action News from 4.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. and again at noon. Before coming to Atlanta, he worked in San Diego and San Francisco, as well as Wichita, Kansas. In the California markets, Mr. Blankenship won awards for stories on drug prevention and community outreach. He covered the growing problem of gangs and reported on California's largest fires. At KRON in San Francisco, he was part of a team that received the prestigious Edward R. Miro Award for the documentary About Race, a study of cultural and social behaviors of different ethnic groups. In Kansas, he chased storms on a regular basis, developing an expertise at covering severe weather. In 2004, Mr. Blankenship covered the Democratic National Convention in Boston. And since joining WSB-TV, he has written and produced special assignment news series and has been a part of primetime action news projects. Mr. Blankenship has been a member of the National Association of Black Journalists and the National Press Photographers Association, and he actively hosts local leadership and community events and celebrations. Now his true passion is working with children and young adults to ensure support and encouragement for their goals and aspirations. Arthur Pearl Buck wrote, the secret of joy in work is contained in one word, excellence. To know how to do something well is to enjoy it. As viewers across the metro area know, 
Mr. Blankenship does indeed enjoy his work. He is a vibrant presence every morning, and we celebrate his being here with us today, and we appreciate him for helping us to celebrate our accomplishments of these great graduates. And to all of you, I thank you for tuning in today. Please enjoy the celebration. In each of our commencement ceremonies, Atlanta Technical College proudly recognizes those students in the graduating class who have distinguished themselves academically and in the life of the college. These distinctions reflect their commitment to excellence in their studies and in their professional and personal growth and development. We are very proud to honor our high school dual enrollment graduates. These students, while still in high school, have already completed enough college courses to earn a technical credential in their chosen program of study. As you see our proud graduates on screen today, you will notice that they are wearing colorful cords to recognize their accomplishments. The students wearing the gold medallions are graduating with a 4.0 GPA. The gold cords represent our honor students who have a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or above. The purple and white cords represent membership in the National Technical Honor Society and a cumulative grade point average of 3.0 or above. Our student government officers are wearing cords in the college colors of blue, gold, and white. Phi Beta Lambda members are wearing blue and gold. Those in Skills USA are wearing red and white. This year, we're pleased to recognize our all-star competitors who won gold, silver, and bronze medals in State Skills USA. There are additional cords that signify membership in other professional and student organizations. Congratulations to our students on their outstanding scholarship, activity, and achievements.
to Dr. Seals, board members and trustees, faculty, staff, family and friends. Greetings on behalf of the students at Atlanta Technical College. Each year, Atlanta Technical College participates in the statewide Georgia Award of Leadership or Goal Competition, a program that recognizes outstanding academic excellence and personal achievements of students attending the 22 technical colleges in the Technical College System of Georgia. At the college, students are nominated by their instructors and go through rigorous rounds of competition before the goal student is selected. It is my honor to serve Atlanta Technical College as the 2021 goal student and to represent my peers at our amazing institution. After earning my GED and studying culinary arts, I had a career in food service. Now I am attending Atlanta Technical College studying computer programming for my associate's degree. My career goal is to write gaming code that will transform the lives of people with disabilities so that they can enjoy outdoor activities, including skiing and hiking. I want a career that is the foundation for long-term success a skill to take me around the world. Atlanta Technical College is helping me to realize that dream. I'm inspired by the course material, the instructors, and the opportunities available to me at the college. My peers and I have the advantage of working closely with faculty who are experts in their field and who genuinely care about our progress and success. Atlanta Technical College encourages us as students to start strong, stay strong, finish strong. What we bring to the college is cultivated and nurtured so that we finish ready for the world with an eye towards excellence. I know that these graduates are ready to make their mark. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Good luck. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our keynote speaker, WSB TV Channel 2 News Anchor, Mr. Fred Blankenship. The possibility of a dream coming true is what makes life truly interesting. Paulo Coelho, The Alchemist, one of my favorite authors, one of my favorite books. I will tell you more about that shortly. In the meantime, it is a dream come true for me to be here today to speak to the 2021 graduating class of Atlanta Technical College. That is right. Great job. Congratulations, faculty, parents, and guests, and last but certainly not least, the amazing graduates. No excuses, no scheduling conflicts, no pandemic can stop you from being here today. Way to go. When we think of Atlanta Technical College, we know the motto. When I learned about it, I, I smiled. Start strong, stay strong, finish strong. I smiled because it got me energized. We are living in a world now more than ever that is craving technical leaders to guide the way. Thank you for leading the charge. Now, I mentioned the book, The Alchemist. It's about a shepherd boy named Santiago who goes on a far-reaching quest for treasure and ends up on his travels learning from an old king, discovering what he would call his personal legend. What's a personal legend, you ask, Fred? Well, simply put, it is your destiny. When a person really wants something, something as special as the honor of graduating here today and going on to change the world, the entire universe will come together to help her or him realize that dream and accomplish that goal. There's a confirmation saying from the book that brings that point home, Maktub, it means it is written. Now I carry that saying with me everywhere I go. Really, it is on my keychain everywhere. What is your personal legend? What's your destiny? Now I found mine telling people the news every morning. I was 12 years old when I discovered my personal legend. I saw a man on the news who reminded me of me. I watched the story and said to myself, if he can tell that story and I was interested, maybe I can do that one day too. Now from that point, I was on my journey to find my personal legend. It took me from Los Angeles to San Francisco to Wichita, Kansas to San Diego, California, and eventually Atlanta. Not only have I been blessed with the gift and the opportunity to wake people up every day, which by the way, I consider to be a super power, but I do it with a smile on my face. And occasionally, some 90s hip hop and R&B lyrics to go along with it. When I tell you about the traffic in the morning on the news, and I toss to my friend Mark, the traffic guy, I'll say, he's your idol, the highest title, numero uno. A little special ed for you, by the way. Or, because he does TV and radio, I might say, you know, you've seen him on the video, true. You know, you've heard him on the radio, true. Little Kim, the queen bee for you right there. Not only am I living my personal legend, I have fun with it too. Don't forget, this life is to be enjoyed. Maktub. Now, let's talk about ways that you can live your personal legend. The book points out that everyone, when they're young, knows what their personal legend is. They know. At that point in their lives, everything is clear and everything is possible. They're not afraid to dream and yearn for everything they would like to see happen to them in their lives. And then they're told the world's biggest lie, according to the book, that at some point in our lives, we lose control of what's happening to us. And our lives become controlled by fate, the world's biggest lie, according to The Alchemist. What the book points out is that as you begin your journey, the world wants you to succeed. There's almost a, a beginner's luck Every search begins with beginner's luck, and every search ends with the victor being severely tested, just like I am with that tassel. <laughs> Today, your journey begins and your test. Over the past few years, this amazing institution has given you the real skills, the real knowledge, and yes, real success. You've transformed your lives 
through the power of technical education. And if we've learned anything through the pandemic, this COVID-19 and beyond, from business, media, entertainment, healthcare, public service technologies, public safety, and arts and sciences, you are the key to our future. Be bold about it. Take up space, Maktoub. Now, over the years, through trial and much, much error, I've come up with some of my own thoughts and beliefs for a happy and productive life. Number one, my friends, approach life with enthusiasm and joy. Well, you might be saying, well, that sounds nice, but how do I do that exactly? Make it a game. Do you, do you know why kids are so happy? They play. As you go into the world, never lose your sense of wonder. Make sure even if you do serious work, you see the lighter side of things. Alan Watts said, this is the real secret to life, to be completely engaged with what you're doing in the here and now. And instead of calling it work, realize it is play. Do not forget to play. Number two, my friends and neighbors, move your body. Move it every day after I tell you it is 723 in the morning on the news and don't be late for work during what we call our Good Morning America cut-ins. I get down on the ground and do 20 push-ups right there in my suit or I do some squats or something or, or jumping jacks. It does not matter what you do. Just move. This is the one body I have in motion is lotion. Move your body and feel great. Number three, slow down. It took me many years to understand, and I'm still in the learning process. I've learned people understand me better if I slow down when I give information. The truth is, it works with almost anything. Take a second, look around. That's right. Enjoy a smell. Feel the ground. Actually, taste your food. Slowing things down, it might seem counterproductive to getting what you want, but it might actually get you there even faster. Think about the guy who speeds right past you, boom, on the street. He passes you like you are standing still. And where do y'all end up? At the same red light, trying not to notice each other. That's how life works. Slow down. Number four, don't worry so much about being right all the time. You might be better served focusing your energy on being kind. I've only regretted the times in my life when I wasn't as kind as I could have been. Thinking back to The Alchemist, we learned the simple things are also the most extraordinary things, and only the wise can see them. Be wise, Maktoub. The Alchemist was also big on listening to the omens and following our hearts. It said there's only one way to learn. It's through action. Everything you need to know, you've learned through your journey. Think about your esteemed president of Atlanta Technical College, Dr. Victoria Seals. Since becoming president here at ATC, she has expanded business and growth opportunities while also creating corporate partnerships, while along with your help, ensuring that Atlanta Technical College continues its growth to becoming one of the finest educational facilities in this country. She also happens to be a friend of mine, so I know how special she is. But you also have stood on the shoulders of legends as well. I would be remiss if I didn't mention Atlanta's home run champion, Hammerin' Hank Aaron. Mr. Aaron dedicated so much of his time and energy to making sure his success is now your success. Before he passed, it was said that he was much prouder of having his name on a building here at Atlanta Technical College than he would at any ball field. Mr. Aaron said, my motto was to always keep swinging. Whether I was in a slump or, or feeling badly or having trouble off the field, the only thing to do was to just keep 
swinging. That's the home run king, mock tube. Earl Nightingale and other great philosophers have laid out a pattern for success. Now, it will blow your mind because it is so simple but profound. He called it the key to success and also the key to failure. We become what we think about. Dr. Norman Vincent Peale said this, so basic but true, if you think in negative terms, you will get negative results. Thinking in positive terms will give you positive results. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Now, I know a bit about that because I've lived it. If I hadn't followed my personal legend, I wouldn't be here today. You see, I'm supposed to be working in a different city under a different name. Yeah, that's true. In the ballpark of 15 years ago, I got a job in New York City. You see, I was working in San Diego at the time and was pretty excited to be able to work in the largest city and media market in this country. I was excited. Everything was going great until my agent called and told me that I couldn't have the job unless I changed my name. I said, you mean they don't like the name Fred? My friend, the agent, said, no, it is Blankenship, your last name that they want you to change. I thought about it and said, well, what are my options? My mother's main name was Collins. It could be, I guess, Fred Collins, I guess. Or my middle name is Douglas. I could be Fred Douglas. Hmm. Then I thought, I can see people at home right now saying, look, Martha, Frederick Douglas has come to give us the news. I had to think about that for a while. After a few sleepless nights, I accepted the job. Which name would I have chosen? Honestly, <laughs> I'm still not sure. Then I began to pay attention to those omens that the alchemist talked about. I called my grandmother and told her about my opportunity and my problem. She said, I don't think that's right. That's all I needed to hear. I told my possible employers in New York my truth and the job never happened. Mock tube. Now fast forward a little while and I found an amazing opportunity to work for WSB TV in Atlanta, Georgia. For oftentimes, we are ranked number one in the country. I don't say that as a brag. I say it to remind you that it's possible. It is possible. And, and oh, by the way, I got to keep my name, Blankenship. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. Maktub. Some final thoughts on your journey and about life. Believe you are enough right now. Believe it. You don't have to have the perfect job or perfect spouse or make this much money. You are enough just as you are. Wonderful you. The alchemist says to realize one's destiny is a person's only obligation and that no matter what he or she does, every person on the earth plays a role in the history of the world. And normally, you know what? They don't even know it. That makes you special. That's right. You. There's no one like you. Don't conform. Don't just fall in line. Use your minds. Like the alchemist said, follow the omens. Maktub. I told you that the alchemist started with a boy named Santiago who traveled on a long journey in search of treasure and ended up finding out a lot about himself and the soul of the world, which governs all things. Now, through his travels, he learned you only get what you give. Everything has a price. As for love, happiness, and yes, that treasure. Do you know where he found that? Home. <laughs> yeah, where his journey started. The treasure basically buried underneath his feet. After traveling so far, it was basically with him all the time. Decide right now where you want to go. Decide right now who you want to be. 
decide to be kind and generous. Today, as you graduate from Atlanta Technical College, you take that amazing first step to realizing your personal legend. Have a blast doing it and smile along the way. Maktoub. My name is Dan Brown, and I'm the 2021 Rick Perkins Instructor of the Year. It is my pleasure to greet you on behalf of my fellow faculty members. Together, we work to teach and support our students, and we celebrate our graduates today as they prepare to move into the world. Our theme this year echoes our number one core value, excellence. We seek to achieve it in everything we do. We strive for excellence in our own endeavors and encourage our students to do their and be their best. The result, more than 1,700 graduating students and a 99% career placement rate. One of our strengths as a college is our strong relationship with civic and business supporters like Mr. Fred Blankenship. On behalf of the students, faculty and staff, thank you, Mr. Blankenship, for your powerful address. You have enhanced this special occasion for the Atlanta Technical College community especially the class of 2021 and their families. I am sure that your experiences and encouragement will inspire the graduates as they take the next steps in their careers. Thank you, Mr. Blankenship and Mr. Brown. As I prepare to recommend the candidates for credentials, I want to recognize the leadership of the academic deans. Dr. Sonia McCoy Wilson, Arts and Sciences Dean, Dean Robert Leach, Business and Public Service Technologies, Dr. Katrina Walker, Health and Public Safety Technologies, and Dr. Ian Toppin, Industrial and Transportation Technologies. Thank you and to extend appreciation to the outstanding faculty and staff who touch our students every day. Dr. Seals, members and trustees of the local and foundation boards, faculty and staff, it is my privilege to recommend these candidates in the graduating class of 2021 for degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Thank you, Ms. Angelo. 
to the class of 2021 by the authority designated to me as president of Atlanta Technical College by the commissioner and state board of the Technical College System of Georgia and upon the recommendation of the Dean of Enrollment Services and the College Registrar. I confer upon each of you your respective degree, diploma, and certificate with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereunto. I now declare that you are graduates of Atlanta Technical College. You may turn your tassels. Congratulations to all of you. Good afternoon, my name is Jamar Jeffers and I'm the director of the Atlanta Technical College Foundation and I oversee the activities of the Atlanta Technical College Alumni Association. It is my pleasure to welcome you as graduates in the class of 2021 to membership into the Atlanta Technical College Alumni Association. We celebrate your accomplishments and look forward to your full participation and giving as ATC alumni. At this time, I will administer the Alumni Association Pledge. Repeat after me. I do promise to uphold the honorable tra traditions of community service, global citizenship, and workforce development. I will endeavor to earn my own place among alumni who have brought recognition and honor to Atlanta Technical College. You are officially Atlanta Techno College alumni. Congratulations. On behalf of the entire Atlanta Technical College community, I appreciate your sharing this occasion with our graduates. As a college community, we are moving forward. The world continues to reinvent itself as it equally presents new opportunities and challenges. But our focus stays on excellence on doing our best and being our best. We look forward to sharing future celebrations with you. Thank you again for your support. Have a great afternoon. <laughs>